Welcome back to this beautiful game, this beautiful music, aka Mr. Dragoons, which reminds me of Bahama Lagoon, Second Detetsu 3, Final Fantasy the Original, and Chrono Trigger. So many games I can just compare this game to off to the bat. Terra Enigma. I mean, this game can be compared to so many games. It's it's unique because it's one of its kind. And I'm, I'm just really disappointed in the YouTube community and the gaming community for not ever let's playing this game for the PlayStation 1. I know a lot of people who don't know Japanese and they want to be strictly, they want to strictly play games that they're comfortable with because they can read the story and actually get involved in the game. But in my opinion, story isn't always a good way to, you know, sometimes it doesn't always have to be words. Just illustration can get you involved in a game that's really heavily on story. And that's one of these games and I just want to thank you guys, uh, for those of you that are watching, to, you know, give me some likes, subscribe, give me some comment, give me some comments, some feedbacks. I can use anything that you guys offer me, comments, feedbacks, whatever. Make sure to like, subscribe. And uh, let's continue on with part five here with uh, Mystic Dragoons, which your boy Retro Boy World here. This is uh, Drunk Gaming. I ended up getting drunk in between episodes. I didn't even uh, ended up grinding. I just got drunk. <laughs> So this is a drunk gaming episode. I'm pretty sure part six I won't be as drunk, but who knows? I might just record part six right after this. So don't expect anything, anything properly. I'm fucked up right now, right about now. I can't even talk. And we're going to continue to drink as we play the game. Just to make the game even more interesting. I really love the music in this game. It like, man, it paints a picture so fucking well. It's ridiculous. I was about to say, I still, I still don't know what that does. What that little gem thing that I equipped even does in general. Okay, actually, let me check out my items. So, a lot of masks and weapons. Okay. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to get this situated. Okay. Let's, let's equip this mask. Okay, you I'm gonna equip the other mask. No, it doesn't have any effect on you. Interesting. I guess yeah, I I I expect you to be already set, to be honest with you. Let me equip that, and then we're going to give you a better helmet as well. Uh, okay, let's give you a better helmet. And then let's give you a better weapon in general. Okay, one last helmet for you. And then one better equipped weapon. Okay, you can take your shit back right about now. Thank you very much. We're, in, we're I don't think we're ever gonna need this item. Sorry about that. Sorry to disappoint you. I mean, I'm just making the money back, so I can't complain. About how much I sell. I like how they always have no as the first option. Like, what type of stupid ass mechanic is that? It's about the dumbest shit you can put in a game. This is what I mean by GBA, because a lot of GBA RPG games 
have like shit, like have all the uh, treasure chests and stuff like that scattered all throughout like towns and stuff like that. That's what the reminiscent comes from of that part. Uh, we can probably change your weapon for this staff. Yeah, that does a lot more. Okay, I like the sound of that. And they're basically saying, okay, so we got one more item as well that we can save. Sell, shall I say, not save. Um, she seems important. I thought so. I thought so. Stronzo, these damn elves. Don't, we don't know what type of characteristic or play they have in the game. But they do something. I think they're like checkpoints. They're like save points in the game. Honestly, that's what I think they're on. I think that's what they are. They're like save points in the game. Checkpoints. Whatever. But here we are with another cutscene. These are kind of a lovable cast of characters. Oh, that's a big ass piece of meat. I will accept. How much do you want? We gotta work for it, I'm pretty sure. Or you're just selling meat and trying to market. You can market this dick, boy. Gratis. Compami, though. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to do that whole cutscene all over again. I was about to say. That is some BS. No, I don't know about that person. What do you got for sale? Oh, shit. Okay, we're gonna have to load that up. Uh, that means I'm probably gonna have to buy all that equipment all over again. Fuck. Fucking A. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. We're gonna do two. Okay, I would I rather save here than to be sorry later. Let's actually go ahead and move. Move! Move! Dumb bitch. I'm just gonna grab this item first. And then we're gonna go here and here. No, they won't let us in here. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Honestly. Move. 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 Move, move. Damn, why you got damn okay. Thank you. Son of a bitch. Hey pal. Hey, 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 hey. Why do you have to be so direct with confrontation? You tell me I cannot talk to somebody from a mile away. Yeah, we took some damage, but I don't think we took in like so much damage. That looks like an entrance more than a hallway. Whatever. I'm not going to complain, because then if I start complaining, I'll get agitated with the game, and then I don't want to play it anymore. And right now, I'm having too much fun with this game, so I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and uh, abide by its its flaws uh, for now. If the flaws become too overwhelming, then this game will just be tossed in the trash like all my other LPs. And this doesn't seem like a house I can answer simply because it's slanted. Slant! Okay, let's see who's on the beach here. I don't like direct confrontation. It's just so laggy. God damn. Input lag is pathetic. I guess we're going to have no choice but to talk to these people again. We're going to skip. We're going to skip the lady. What's down here? 
Okay. We're going to do this scene before we interact with anybody upstairs. So yeah, I bought this CD for like 20 bucks. You guys can buy it yourselves. Um, of course, I'm uploading it on my computer. So therefore, you know, there's, I'm allowed to save state and do all that stuff. Because if I was recording it straight from the console, which I really am, that's the only way you can get footage from this game. Other than the emulator. But you know, I only emulate games that I really can't buy. If the game is too expensive, I'm not, I'm not buying that shit for one. And you know... I can just simply wait. The fuck is going on? This just sounds like it's broken. Are they applauding? My ears burn! Oh. It's a battle. Boy, I will fuck your squad up. Your squad does not stand a chance. Fuck them up. 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 Exactly. If this went by rounds, he didn't even survive the first. Just put it out there like that. Yeah, get your mans out of here. All your mans is getting fucked up. I'll take the challenge. I'll take the challenge. I didn't even grind up. I have yet to grind up yet. Yet I'm still gonna whoop all of you guys' asses. All of you. Yep, it's a wrap. Time to get molested by tree branch rape, which is like tree branch rape magic. <laughs> Tentacle anal infestation attack. Uh, I can't do it. My anal hurts. Uh, retreat. <laughs> All right, we got one more guy left. Just fuck this bastard up, and then uh, let's continue the story of the game. Underground fighting. Pirate fighting, actually, but we're just going to leave it as underground fighting. Actually, I feel like that should be the title of this episode. Underground fighting. In random cities. Underground pirate fighting. Let's leave it at that. That sounds more accurate. And good night. Goodbye, my friend. Time to die. What? That was the killer move. Finish him off. Finish him off. Come on, Gale. There you go. Killer move. Defeat. There was really nothing for us to pillage, so. And the captain flees like a little bitch. Such leadership. Such sportsmanship, matter of fact. Such honorability, in fact. But that's our captain, so, you know, we can't, we can't hate. And then these guys want to talk about some shit. What, what is there to talk about? We are the, we are the chosen ones. We own the five crystals of light. No fantasy reference, but basically, we're the descendants. Basically, the strongest beings on earth. I was hoping they would leave at least like one treasure chest in here, but I guess not. But you need that uh, cutscene to activate in order for you to progress the game. And I'm just going to activate this cutscene one more time. I think he's just showing us off the food, and I think he gives us money and food. I don't understand, but he does something about that. Because obviously we can see that food does play a role in this game. So that, that could be a future something. It could be a future anything. We don't know for now.
we're just gonna assume the best. Might as well take all this shit. And for some reason it seems a lot more lively outside all of a sudden. Move. All you guys keep getting in a damn way. That door is still unlocked for some reason. Never figure out why, probably. Let me see how my health is looking. Oh no, they healed this up. They healed this up. So it looks like the port is off limits f to us for now. Seems like the we have some important business somewhere else. Or something of that sort. Um, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys with part 6. I hope you guys enjoyed Mr. Dragoon's part 5. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And uh, yeah, we've been really on a roll here. Last episode, we basically shit, traveled through a whole damn cave. This episode, we ended up fighting mysterious underground battles. But hey, who's to complain? We did it nonetheless. And uh, I will see you guys with part six. I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. If you guys are, make sure to like, give some feedback. Show me how influenced you are about this Let's Play. Please. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys till next time. I'm going to do some grinding in between part six and now. And uh, we'll see where it takes us. And I will see you guys till then. As always, fans, until next time. Bye-bye.